Inakuwa vipi na kuaje mwana familia wa Together Line ni wakati mwingine tena tumekutana tuzungumze kuhusiana na hiki ambacho kinaendelea huko kwenye mitandao ya kijamii. E bwana kama sio kesho basi ni kesho kutwa itakuwa ni siku ya Idi. E kama sio kesho basi ni kesho kutwa e itakuwa ni siku ya Idi. Nimejaribu kupita pita kwenye mitaa kuna baadhi ya Waislamu wanashauku sana na kufungua. Yaani design kama walikuwa wanapitia mateso fulani hivi E, design kama walikuwa napitia kipindi fulani hivi kigumu e, uh, mtu mmoja hivi ananiambia kwamba bwana da aise tukifungua sivi da nianze kula milo zangu mitatu unaona bwana nianze kula milo zangu mitatu kwa sababu da yani kila siku e, mtu alikuwa kipata futali leo uh, unasubiri tena mpaka kesho tena upate tena futali nyingine so nikagundua kwamba kumbe bwana e, uh, watu wengi walikuwa hawajafunga sababu unapofunga alafu ukawa design kama unateseka maana hiyo sio funga yani unatakiwa kufunga kwa furaha e, kufunga kwa furaha kwamba bwana ni kipindi kifupi tu katika mwaka alafu kinafanyika mara moja tu kwa mwaka e, uh, kipindi cha mwezi mmoja tu na hiki kipindi bwana kitanisogeza karibu na Mwenyezi Mungu wangu hiki kipindi bwana nitafanya toba hiki kipindi nitaomba dua mbalimbali za matatizo yangu. Hiki kipindi bwana nitaongeza sawabu kwa Mwenyezi Mungu wangu. Hiki kipindi bwana nitafanya A B C D E kwa Mungu wangu. Kwa hiyo ni kipindi fulani hivi ambacho uh, hutakiwi kulia shida. Lakini ukilia tu shida manake zile swara zako ambazo zote unakuwa unaziomba e basi nadhani zitakuwa zinagonga mwamba kwa sababu unaomba huku moyoni ukiwa unanungunika una njaa. Kwa manake uh, haitakiwi hivyo. Unatakiwa kifunga iwe ni funga ya furaha, funga yenye amani. Ndio maana uh, kuna watu ambao uh, wanapenda sana mwezi Ramadhani ukifika ule e, wanavofunga, wanafurahi, wanaomba Mwenyezi Mungu, wanatuma makosa yao. Unaona bwana wanajistili vizuri, safi kabisa wanajisogeza karibu na Mwenyezi Mungu, wanaomba na matokeo wago wanayapata. Unakuta mtu anafanikiwa kwa sababu kumbe aliutendea haki mwezi mtukufu wa Ramadhani kuta mtu e, baada ya Ramadhani tu mambo yake anaanza kunyoka kumbe ni kwa sababu aliutendea haki mwezi mtukufu wa Ramadhani. Unaona bwana lakini uh, hii yote nilikuwa nataka kusema kwamba kuna w- baadhi ya watu wame walifunga lakini design tu walikuwa wanateseka. Kwa hiyo mtu kama huyo kiukweli e, katika swala zima la kupata sawabu inakuta ni kidogo sana tofauti na ule mtu ambaye alifunga kwa kumaanisha hakuwa anateseka maoni mwake hakuwa ananungunika hakuwa anaona uh, jua linachelewa kuzama hakuwa anaona iftali e, sijui nimefanya imefanya fanyaje kwa watu kama hao kidogo swabu ni kubwa mno kwa Mwenyezi Mungu so zazi boss ready pia ni miongoni mwa watu waliokuwa wamefunga inavyoonekana na zazi boss ready pia ni amefunga ndoa katika mwezi mtukufu wa Ramadhani kwa maana yake tunatukasema amefanya kitu kile yani kwake mwezi mtukufu wa Ramadhani umeacha alama kubwa katika maisha yake na kiukweli uh, Zazi Boswedi katika mwezi huu mtukufu wa Ramadhani tumeona aliacha kabisa alipunguza kasi ya kutumia mitandao ya kijamii alipunguza swala zima la kujiposti posti sana alipunguza vitu vingi kwenye mitandao ya kijamii unaona bwana alikuwa anafanya vile vitu ambavyo ni positive tu aidha kuwashauri watu kuhusiana na neno la Mungu kuwashauri watu waombe nini katika e, siku kadhaa e, kwamba bwana siku ya leo jamani tuombeni hiki na hiki siku ya leo tuombeni hiki na hiki kwa Mwenyezi Mungu unajua zile so alikuwa mtu fulani hivi ambaye kiukweli alijisogeza kwa Mwenyezi Mungu so leo kupitia akaunti yake ya Snapchat ameweza kuposti video akiwa e, anazungumza kuhusiana na mwezi mtukufu wa Ramadhani e, kwamba bwana uh, umeisha tayari lakini anawapa uh, shara sana kwa wale wote ambao wameweza kulifanikisha hilo wamefunga funga ya za ukweli hawakunungunika mioni mwao wamepata swabu za kutosha tumsikilize Azali za Boss Ready So shout out to the people that are going to be making food 30 days of fasting for 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 Ramadan I personally did you know health problems here in there and obviously my houses and all that but the days that I could fast I actually went all out and fasted So shout out to you guys because this takes a lot of sacrifice it takes a lot of you know letting your gut down it takes a lot of faith It takes a lot for you to put everything on hold and say you know what I'm doing this for God. I mean, we have 12 months in a year and honestly, one month is nothing. So shout out to you guys. May Allah listen to your prayers. May Allah accept to your fasting, your Ramadan. May all the good things happen to you. You deserve it. I mean, why not if not? So shout out to 
to you guys. It's it's hard. Trust me. Yeah. Shout out to the people that are going to be making full 30 days of fasting. Full, full, full Ramadan. I personally did, you know, health problems here and there, and obviously my ulcers and all that. But the days that I could fast, I actually went full out and fasted. So shout out to you guys because this takes a lot of sacrifice, it takes a lot of, you know, letting your gut down, it takes a lot of faith. It takes a lot for you to put everything on hold and say, you know what, I'm doing this for God. I mean, we have 12 months in a year, and honestly, one month is nothing. So shout out to you guys. May Allah listen to your prayers. May Allah accept your fasting, your Ramadan. May all the good things happen to you. You deserve it. I mean, why not if not? So shout out to you guys. It's Shout out to you guys because this takes a lot of sacrifice, it takes a lot of you know, letting your gut down, it takes a lot of faith, it takes a lot for you to put everything on hold and say, you know what, I'm doing this for God. I mean, we have 12 months in a year, and honestly, one month is nothing. So, shout out to you guys, may Allah listen to your prayers, may Allah accept your fasting, your Ramadan, may all the good things happen to you. You deserve it. I mean, why not if not? So, shout out to you guys.